Washington's open air seafood market is where locals can get fresh seafood and tourists can get a feel for some of the city's history. I've been here for 16 years. I came to look for work and I found it. Everything is very nice here and many Hispanics come to buy shellfish, fish. They buy it right here where we clean the fish too. Dating back to 1805, the municipal fish market at the wharf in Washington is one of the oldest continuously operating outdoor seafood markets in the United States. Located on the banks of the Potomac River, the fish market has recently been revitalized with new clubs and restaurants. By its core business of selling fish remains, and it's a steady source of work for the growing Hispanic community living in the U.S. capital. In El Salvador, I worked with my mother. We had a market there with two to four stalls that we had full of fish, but dried fish. Marvin Gonzalez has been working here for over a decade. He says he has regular customers and remembers exactly what everyone wants. I have been opening oysters for 14 years, selling shrimp, fish, crabs, everything that you can see here. Open daily, this poor enclave attracts buyers of all nationalities and caters to locals with the promise of inexpensive and plentiful seafood. In other markets, it is much more expensive, and I can't find what I want. I came to buy salmon and catfish and also shrimp. When this market opened, seafood was sold directly from the fishing boats. Over the years, goods began to be transported by truck and visitors were served from the Birch's dock next to the pier. Fortunately, we have a lot of repeat customers, a lot of loyal customers, and we're in a great area. Um, you know, I think it was 1934 when it first started. You couldn't foresee all this, but the people before us worked really hard, so we'd have some here. And the fish market is considered a historic landmark, but there is no stuffy history here. This thriving market is undergoing a renaissance in this newly revitalized part of Washington. Carolina Valladares, Bio News, Washington.